in between each of the rounds of the East Coast Bull Bars Australian Championship. Our teams aren't just relaxing at home, they're actually getting some international experience, even to the point that our last year's champ, Eli Evans and Glenn Wesson, are off doing some of the European Rally Championship. For some of our guys from this year, we've got Scott Petter here, who's doing some international events, mate. Last time between Queensland and here, you've gone off to China. Fantastic experience. Oh, look, it was. I've done some international stuff in the past with Asia Pacifics and World Championship stuff uh, here in this region, but uh, to go and do an event in China, a desert rally, different car, it was uh, it was mind-blowing. Petter's full-time co-driver, Dale Moskett, is about to jump ship to sit alongside Adrian Coppin shortly in Europe. He doesn't have much experience yet. Uh, obviously, I've done a lot internationally and overseas and, and tarmac events and World Championship rounds. Dale has a lot of experience, so you know, I'm going to be learning uh, as much as I can off him uh, and you know, bring that back here to, to use in Australia. Brandon, of course, you've flown the Australian flag in the International Rally before as part of the Academy. Yeah, sure I have, Dino. Getting that international experience helps a lot, especially when you come back home racing on home soil. But to go overseas and try different cars, work with bigger teams and different sorts of cars, especially the front-wheel drive cars, I've got a lot of experience overseas with them. Starting off in the Australian Championship in 2007 with Brennan has set me up to go do WRC 2011 and 12 and, and then do Rally America for the last couple of years. So I've been able to rally all over the world because of what I learned here from you know the ARC back all those years ago. And Rhiannon's husband Alex should know how good Australia is. He sat alongside the likes of Ken Block in the WRC. Those cars and those drivers are, are pushing 100%. So it's great to see. It's a great spectacle, and uh, and hopefully it can uh, it can show some uh, you know some some top uh, Australian drivers uh, uh, they can do well in the World Championship as well in the years to come.